Hi there, and welcome at the animation library. In this tutorial, I will teach you three ways to animate a flexible limb. A tail to be more precisely. The first one is with an animated part, which is very flexible, but a bit harder to do. The second one is with an effect called CC Bandit. It's pretty easy, but quite limited. The third one is with Dewey Basil, which is very flexible and gives you this nice curvy animation. All right, let's get started. I added the PSD file in the description um, so you can download it and then you just start by importing it in uh, your After Effects file. Just drag and drop it, but when you import it, remember to choose Retain Layer Size. This will help you later in the process. All right, first we're gonna select all layers except the tail one, copy them to a new composition. Yeah, don't forget to name it correctly. We don't want Comp1, Comp2 and so on. So I'm gonna name this tail animated parts uh, animation. And with the pen tool selected, I'm gonna make a new part, make it nice and curvy. I don't want to use more than four points uh, because the more you add, the more complex it will be. Also, I really don't like the ending of the tail, which is flat and straight and you want it like to have this round, ending. So for this I use Budcapper, I've been using it for years and it's a free tool that I will add in the description as well. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, add keyframes on the parts and we can start animating it. Make sure the first and the last keyframe have the same values. This will make it easier to loop in the end. Now let's add an in-between keyframe. For this we animate the tail in the opposite direction. Don't get your hopes up, uh, when you play this it will look terrible, not smooth at all. And this is where the in-betweens come in. So we add a few extra keyframes. I'll start by copying the beginning so I have the right position. And we have it kind of in between the first and the third position. Yeah, make sure you tweak it correctly. And we'll do the same for the second part of the animation. Make it also nice, smooth and different than what you did before. So it's not a total recognizable loop, but it has some flexibility. And then we just add more and more uh, in-betweens until you're satisfied with it. Uh, let's see what we've got here. All right, not bad, but we're not there yet. It doesn't really feel like a tail, doesn't it? So. I just add some extra keyframes, I smoothen things out, uh, use ease in and ease out. And yeah, just to be honest, you need to tweak this a lot. Um, like I said, the pot gives you a lot of flexibility. However, it's a bit harder to do and it can get a bit messy if you're not used to it. And that's where the effect CC Bandit and Duick uh, comes in handy because um, they take out the hard parts and they do it for you. We'll get to this uh, later in this tutorial. Just bear in mind, there are easier options to get a tail animation. It took me about 10 minutes of tweaking to get this right, but I'm happy with how this looks right now. I just want to add a small expression so that it loops uh, smoothly and that we don't need to copy all the keyframes. Now we just need to put a tail behind her back, give it the right name, and that's it. One small bonus thing. Um, because we use the pot, we have some extra options. It's kind of hidden, but you can play with taper. Now what it does is um, it gives you the option to change the width of the tail. So if you want this poofy, fluffy tail, just change the value of the stroke size and um, put the start length at 85. Et voila, c'est ça. It's a nice, beautiful, fluffy tail. Up to the next animation. This one is going to be with the CC Bandit effect. Let's start by making a new composition. Copy all the layers from the imported file and put the tail in the center of the comp. Now go to Effect and Presets and type in Band or CC Bandit to find the effect. Drag the effect on the tail layer, but don't get scared if the top of your layer gets cut off. We can easily fix this 
by moving the end and the start point to the end and the start of the tail, pretty obvious. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, I hear myself speaking and it just sounds so silly to myself, you know? Anywho, let's continue. Now, if you bend the tail now, you will see it will disappear. Not a problem, we can help this by just making a pre-comp out of the tail. But before we do this, um, let's just put the tail in the right position already. Um, so we don't need to do this um, afterwards and things can get messy. All right, name your pre-comp, click OK. And now if you will bend it, you will see that it bends entirely. Okay, just uh, remember that when you will move the tail or you move the start or the ending points, the tail will break again. So you need to keep in mind that the end and the begin points of the bended effect will need to stay at the ending and the beginning of the tail. Now with the pre-comp selected, press U and select all your keyframes. Add some easing to it and you will see that the tail moves smoothly and perfectly. It seems like a pretty nice animation. Maybe it's just a smoothing a little bit and maybe I'm not convinced about the position of the tail yet. Maybe move it a little bit to the left. Yes, and of course change the and then begin point. Make the layer purple and put it behind the body. Now the only thing missing is the looping of the animation. To do this, click on the stopwatch while holding Alt and the expression panel will appear. Type in loop out, select loop out, and you're good to go. If you play this now, you will have a perfect looped animation. Easy, isn't it? Now, for the last one, make a new composition. Rename it to Tail Duik Animation. Copy all the layers, again, and select the tail. Put the anchor point at the ending of the tail and center the tail in the middle of the composition. To make sure I don't make mistakes in the next part, I'm gonna put the tail on top. Um, lock all other layers and um, yeah, maybe even hide them, just to make sure. Now from the left side of your screen, drag a guide layer and put it in the middle of your tail. I'm gonna select the puppet tool and put a lot of points on the whole tail. The more, the better. But remember, the more points you put on the tail, the more flexible it will be. But on the other hand, it will become much heavier. And so if you have a slow computer, don't push this too far. <laughs> Select all puppet pins and go to your Duik panel. This is a free plugin. If you don't have it yet, uh, I'll put the link in the description as well. In the Duik panel, select Add Bones and Duik will do its magic. Yepla! All puppet pins are now connected to a separate layer. What we do next is we select all bone layers, like this. And back in the Duik panel, we choose Outer Rig and Ike. Select the bottom bone layer and connect it to the controller that has been created by Duik. After this, you can hide and lock all the layers, um, except the tail itself, of course and um, then we can start animating it. In the effect control panel, we have three controllers that we can manipulate. Let's change the values to 115, 8 and 6 and see what it does. Absolutely nothing. And this is because we haven't animated the rotation yet. If we put two keyframes on the rotation, everything will come alive. Depending on the values we put in in the effect control panel, the tail will have a different behavior. It will uh, bend further, it will uh, curl up more, um, and you know, on your version, just um, add in some numbers and see what works for you. When you're happy with your uh, animation, um, go back to the expression panel and type in a loop out, but this time add ping pong in between. This will uh, animate it back and forth and back and forth. Um, and now we're just adding it back um, behind our illustration, put it in the right position and we're good to go. That's it. 
Now let's put them all together. We have three different uh, types of tail animation, all special in their own way. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite and if this is something you can use in your own project. So that's it for today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up or subscribe. If you like more tips and tricks, follow me on Instagram at the animation library. Um, and that's it for today. See you. Ciao.